Hey guys, so today I'm here with a tutorial, and I haven't done a tutorial in a really long time, so I hope you guys enjoy this because you guys have requested it, and this is the sort of like smoky eye look that I did in a couple of videos. I did it in my Kirsten Talks Moving Out video, and I How I Style My Side Bangs video, and you guys really requested it, so I decided to go ahead and do it. So if you would like to see how I got this smoky-esque look then go ahead and keep on watching. So I'm going to start by priming my eyes. I'm using this Sedona Lace Primer. It's called Stick It To Em. And I really like this. It's probably going to last me a really really long time just because it is this huge tube and you only use just a little bit of it. So I'm going to blend this all the way up and this will make sure that our shadows stay. All of the eyeshadows I'm going to be using today are from the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. I absolutely love this palette. I think it's amazing. So the color I'm going to start with is right here. It's called Verve. And it's a really nice, light, silvery, shimmery color. It's really, really pretty and bright. So I'm just going to pick that up with a flat brush. This one's actually the one that came in this palette. And I'm going to pack this color all over my lid. I'm just gonna flip the brush over and use the other side which is like a more fluffy side I guess and I'm taking the color right next to Verve this is Verve and this one is called Pistol and this is more of a grayish sort of um, grayish sort of gunmetally color and I'm literally just going to be sweeping this all throughout the crease like this then with a more precise pencil brush this one is from Avon I'm taking the darkest color in this palette, which is a matte black, and it's called Blackout. And you have to be really careful when using this color because it's so, there's just so much of it. It's so pigmented, so I try to pick up as little as possible. So I'm just going to do one quick dab, and I'm basically just going to be going to the outer third and then into the crease, sort of deepening the look up. I'm just going to take a fluffy blending brush and just blend out the harsh edges of that black color. And then I'm just going to take another flat brush. This came with the Urban Decay Naked One palette, I believe. And I'm taking the last color on this side, which is Foxy. And this is like a matte highlight color. And that's what I'm going to be using it for, which is under the brow and just highlighting. Also going to put a little bit of this in the inner corner just to lighten that area up too. So that's it for eyeshadow and now I'm going to line my eyes. I'm using this L'Oreal felt tip liquid eyeliner and I just create a small wing with a line across the upper lash line. And then for my waterline, I'm also going to be using a black. I'm taking this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil. This one is in zero and I'm going to use it on my waterline. I'm going to be curling my lashes. This is just a drugstore Revlon lash curler. And for mascara, I like to double up my mascaras and really make my lashes long and pretty and black. So I'm going to start by using the Tony Molly Cat Swing Mascara and then putting the Urban Decay Big Fatty Mascara on top of that. Alright, that's it for the eyes, so now on to the cheeks and lips. For the cheeks, I just like to highlight my face when doing sort of a darker look on the eyes because I really don't want to take away from that and use a bright blush. So I've been using my very favorite highlighter, I'm a blush, uh, since then, and this is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This one is in Soft and Gentle, which looks like this, and it's really, really pretty. I'm just going to highlight my cheekbones. And then on my lips, I like to use a nude color again with a darker eye. So I'm using my favorite nude right now, which is the Revlon Lip Butter. This one is in Creme Brulee. And this is my second one of these, so I love these. That's it for this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed because you guys have been requesting it a lot. So let me know down below if you guys would like more tutorials. Thumbs this video up if you'd like more tutorials and things like that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.